Hey, 8th graders, Mrs. Bellum here with 8 top tips to help you improve at your netiquette and formal language. Set a polite tone in your online communications by using your manners so you don't come across as rude. Please and thanks, hello and goodbye can go a long way. Be respectful when typing online. Address your classmates by their name and use any appropriate titles with adults, such as Mr. or Ms. or Coach. Think carefully before you post in front of the entire group. Does your comment apply to everybody or is it something you should say privately between you and your teacher in an email or in person? Digital blurts are just as distracting as regular blurts. If you wouldn't say something out loud in class without raising your hand, don't do it online either. With all the modern technology available for spell check and grammar check, there is no excuse for sloppy posting. If this is a struggle for you, install Grammarly to help you improve your writing. All successful online communicators know how to code switch between their formal audiences and their informal audiences. When you're speaking formally, make sure you refrain from using emojis, text and chat abbreviations, excessive punctuation, such as too many exclamation points, or all caps, which comes across as shouting. Stick to the point of your online assignment. Avoid run-on sentences that have too many commas or ands. And if it's not related to the topic, don't post it. Remember that everything you post online has the potential to become permanent or shared. Before you hit send, make sure you read and reread your work, either out loud or in your head. Does it make sense for what I'm trying to say? Is there potential that it might sound sarcastic or have a different meaning? If yes, then make sure you change and edit your assignment before you submit it. And remember, as with any post you do, whether it be for school or personal time, make sure you stop and think before you post. <laughs>